What's up everybody, my name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. All right, good morning everybody. Hope everybody is well today. It is uh, Thursday, uh, January 25th, 9.09 uh, .09 a.m. And we are back with some Against the Storm today. And tomorrow, just a quick reminder, we are having our giveaway, our monthly giveaway. And I have four Timberborn keys added to our giveaway list. So if you happen to win, you can pick a uh, Timberborn. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and jump in. I do believe we are now at a Baron Land run, right? Yep. All right. So we started a brand new cycle. We got the first Dawn company to give us grain and 15 pack of provisions uh, for 35 food stock. That was amazing. And then we won some event. I forgot what that event was that gave us new caravan members. I think it was the, um, the one where we had to get 250 amber stored in our warehouse and that was the harder one of the the uh, the two choices I'm trying to recall what that particular event was called it's not in our our history either yeah it was like some event that we had gotten Oh well, I can't recall what that event was called, but yes, we we did get this one. It wasn't Hang Viceroy, right? Hang Viceroy just gives you only two people. Uh, Commend a contract does not give you the trades, right? That was the parts. Oh, it was oh, I know what it was. It was called the Bankrupt Trader, right? Bankrupt Trader had two options. You can either do the 150 and get one villager or 250 amber in your warehouse under eight years. Sorry, eight before eight year eight ends. And then you get the third or the three villagers total. Yep, I remember now. All right, so for this run, we're trying to, or this cycle run, we're trying to get towards this seal. Um, and we want to curve around this, right? And I think I said I was going to go with this one. And then we go over to here. Or sorry, uh, over to here? Or no, here, right? It's probably here, and then go over here, and then go over here. So we'll click on this and we'll find out. It might be over here. And then here, and then here, and then here, right? And then we're going to use a range extension over here somewhere. Hopefully that's going to pan out. Um, but yeah, I was sick for the past few days, and I just needed to sleep in yesterday. Coughing and sniffing and sneezing was not fun. And every once in a while, I'm going to have to remind myself to mute the microphone before coughing. I'd hope that I will remember to unmute. I've made a mistake once to, to mute the microphone and then forgot to turn it back on. Um, yeah, all right. So we're going to do barren lands. Barren land is uh, where you have no fertile soil anywhere in the region. But it is possible to get soil if we get the leaking cauldron glade event or any ruins in the glade. Uh, associated to a farm building. So what, what happens is the soil is not actually in any of the glades, but discovering the farm, the ruin building itself will generate soil afterwards. So that is how, how it's possible to get soil. And Leaking Cauldron, if you solve the event, it splatters like 11 to 12 soil fields. Um, so that is possible. Let's go ahead and jump in. And then for this run, we have 13 
boxes on the top. The humans are not going to help us in this situation finding the soil, but at least their starting ability is useful, and we also have stones here, right? And it's got a lot of food. So we've got, what, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 people, that's a lot. Um, this is Royal Woodlands. Yeah, wow, and we have... This is our town number 3, right? January 25th, cycle 27, prestige 4, town number 4. Yeah, town number 4. Alright, and it's Royal Woodlands, and we've got no soil, no fertile soil anywhere in this region. But as I said, it is possible to get it from events. And... Wow, look at that bottom. It's got a lot of planks with money, huh? No, I'm still, I'm still going to go with the middle. I think that's a good deal. I'm going to take the veggie so we can get some porridge. We also have grains, right? We can make porridge with those grains. Um, so there's no use in taking herb garden. You know what? That's not a bad deal. Two points for bricks. What am I going to do with the remaining points? I can't take this, right? I guess I'll take more bricks. Or sorry, planks, right? Um... Sure, let's let's um let's get more food then, yeah. And then fabric material. Yeah, that's the best thing I can think of, right? Or do we want even more food? Since there's no soil. One, two, three. Yeah, I mean, we could get more food. I don't know. I'm thinking. I don't know. I mean, we have planks, so that's not bad. Should I get more... food? What am I going to do with the extra point, right? I can eat... well... I can do two meats. Um, I think I'll be okay with this. Let's go with this. Yeah, let's go with that. Hey, Shepin, good morning. Um, yeah, hello, welcome. So... We've got beavers! We don't have another species yet. This is 10% planting speed during drizzle. What in the hell is this? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Developers need to fix this. I'm going to screenshot this. I'm going to ask them if this is a bug. Because this should not be a thing. Right? We are on no soil, and planting speed is one of the mysteries. Okay. Hang on, I'm filling out a report here. Um, Jesus Christ, hang on, I gotta screenshot this. It's called what? Gentle Dawn? <sighs> oh my god, seriously? 
Most BS. BS mystery ever. On barren lands. Um, Alright, so I filled out my report. The game is trolling me with this RNG here. 40% slower. Recipes producing building materials yield 50% fewer goods. Okay, sure. Every villager that dies during the storm gives blood flower. Okay, and then this is the ghost, right? Chance of dying every 5%. 5% or sorry every 15 seconds if they don't have services oh my god I cannot believe this oh my god I'm gonna take the trappers it's kind of early to get the other guy I'm gonna take the rain collector. Maybe. I don't know. I don't have to make a decision yet, right? I don't have to make a decision. This is really, really terrible. Terrible. So beavers get pickle goods. That's eight points, right? Eight points plus favoring. That puts us at 23, plus another 2. That's 25. They're not going to be happy enough for a push. So why don't we give them no food? Yeah, let's give them no food. Alright, that's fine. Um... Alright, we'll go with this. Hey, thank you for that follow, uh, Dratch, uh, Nathia? Dratch Nathia. Appreciate that. Yeah, hey. Not, not Petrias. Welcome. Thank you for that. Thank you for hanging out, guys. Appreciate that. So, yeah. The, um... Twitch payout for um, the new Twitch policies for Twitch um, payouts is going in effect in May. And uh, just so that FYI, public service announcements, if you guys didn't actually read about it or hear about it. Um, it's a huge nerf to a lot of content creators that's making money off of Prime. You guys did not hear about it. There was a stream yesterday, and I actually briefly watched it. But yeah, it's going to suck for um, people who depend on Twitch Primes. Uh, I think it's at least a 10%, if not more, depending on where you're getting your Twitch Prime subs from. Like, if you're getting it from, like, people who, are, who live in Turkey, for example... Which Prime is only worth nine cents to content creators. They are no longer doing 50-50 splits. It's based on the um, the country. And then regular subs will be 50-50. Um, oh shit, I forgot to put this down. My bad. So I will be making less money. Which is bad. And I know Tingoja is from Turkey. Uh, so I don't know. any. So the Twitch in the US, Twitch Prime in the US is worth $22.25 instead of $2.50. And every country in between is probably going to be less. So that's a huge bummer. Huge bummer. Alright, reinforce axe? I'll take it. It's fine. Chopping wood is okay with me. The worst force mystery ever to stack with this. What am I gonna do with this? 
planting speed, right? This has to be fixed. Mm-hmm. Wanda. Hey. I always assumed they already regionalized Prime subs. No, they haven't yet. They're going to. Uh, so I heard, Dan actually brought this up to me, I heard they got rid of some Prime bundles or programs or something like that. I don't know. Well, I guess it's still there, right? You can get your, you can get some Prime gaming perks. Still. But they heavily nerfed that too. Alright, I need to give them the food. Otherwise, they're going to be pissed on the next food cycle, right? Beavers are going to be leavers. Um... Well, the other big nerf, also, here's the other nerf, in case people, well, a little inside information, in case people don't know about this. Um, when you stream on Twitch, you are either a partner or a uh, affiliate, right? An affiliate, there's a cutoff, right? You have to meet a certain requirement to get to become an affiliate. As an affiliate, you can get, you can accept subs and bits and all that stuff. Just, I mean, anyone can get, get on and stream, but you can't start accepting money until you become an affiliate at least right and affiliates um get a uh, a limited amount of moats emotes that you can have for people who sub to affiliates i personally don't think this should be a thing they should make emotes available to affiliates just exactly the same as partners because this helps encourage the affiliates to make more money uh, to get you know more subs or people more likely to spend their money on buying subs from affiliates because this is just a way for twitch to make more money i don't see why twitch feels the need to create a barrier or separation between affiliates and partners in terms of emote slots so emote slots for affiliates is capped you can only have up to nine, I believe, of uh, regular emote slots. And then follower slots, they recently made it so that follower slots is available for everyone, which is five. And then there are animated slots, which is also a fixed number. Now, partners actually can get a ton, uh, uh, probably like 25, 30 or something like that. I've seen people like up to 100 or whatever shit emotes, right? And so it's it's nice when people subscribe to these partners because you unlock like a shit ton of emotes and then you can use it across any channel, right? So that helps the partner. That helps at the end of the day, helps Twitch. Ultimately, it obviously helps Twitch, right? Because it gives people um, buying power, right? They buy into anybody who has the same number of emotes. So they're more likely to support an affiliate if they have the same range of emote slots that they can use anywhere. I mean, at the end of the day, what difference does it make? You're spending $5 on, you know, a bunch of emotes off of one partner, and then, you know, you spend $5, and if that affiliate gets the same number of slots, you're getting just the same quality or number of emotes. So I don't see why they need to restrict that to make it a a partner only thing that gets the emote slots. And Twitch is like whining and moaning how they're they're losing money, right? They're not making enough money. Oh boo hoo. We need to put in these new new policies or these you know payout changes because we're broke. I mean they have de definitely gone come out and said 
Twitch does not make them money, right? They're just fortunate that they are part uh, part of Amazon. So Amazon makes money, but the Twitch side of, of Amazon uh, business does not make any money. So they're whining and complaining about how they don't make money and they're always looking at new ways to make money, right? Well, why not just open enough, enough uh, you know, emote slots, right, to the affiliates? That just blows my mind how they're leaving money on the table, right? Because there's now more affiliates than there are partners and people are more inclined to pay for partner subs because they get more emotes from that. It's, it's value for your $5, right? I mean, that's definitely value. So, all right. So, so why am I talking about emote slots? So here's the, the other change that they plan on doing for or May, in, in May, that's going into active, uh, in effect. Currently, every sub that I get, regardless of Prime or Gift subs, right, there's a thing called sub points. So I currently have 81 subs, and I have 81 sub points. So for, for, for an affiliate to actually unlock all nine of their emote slots, they have, like, these little tiers, right? That's, uh, when an affiliate first starts, you only get, like, three emote slots, I think. Something like that, right? And then you have to like unlock five sub points, 10 sub points, 15 sub points, and then 50 sub points. 50 sub points is the cap. Once you get 50 sub points, you can get your full nine slots to fill up with any emote junk that you want in those nine slots, right? So, and I'm pausing because I want to pay, pay attention to what's going on at the same time with the game while telling you the story of what's going on here with, with Twitch. Um, the, hang on, so the new change that's going into effect in May, they are getting rid of the value of prime subs. Prime subs will no longer be worth one point. Gift subs will no longer be worth one point. Uh, you can only get points from people paying for tier 1 sub, tier 2 sub, and tier 3 subs. Tier 3 is 8 points. Tier 2 is 3 points? Something like that, right? 1, 3, and 8, I believe. Something in those ballparks. So before, I actually got my 50 subs because I was able to get enough people to sub that month or do gift subs to drop to get to that 50 point barrier. Now these points actually reset every month. So if you don't get 50 points in one month, you you try again the following month. And if your last sub fell off, right? Then your sub points drop. And so you have to like try again. Uh, luckily I was able to get enough people just to drop gift subs to get to that barrier. And so when May comes around, new affiliates are going to have a hard time trying to unlock those nine emotes. So anyone who, who is thinking about becoming an affiliate, you better become an affiliate now, and you better start unlocking your nine su uh, sub slots uh, you know, with the, with the prime subs or the gift subbers to help you out, right? Otherwise, it's a very tough climb because then people would have to create fake accounts and then buy subs on those to get to that that status. That's odd. Gift subs are paid. Yeah, exactly. Gift subs are paid. It will, but they said that we will get a slightly higher percentage. Uh, they didn't disclose what that higher percentage is from gift subs, but we will not get sub points from gift subs. And that was that's the part of the story that I'm, I'm trying to emphasize here. So let's say if I become a partner, though, sometimes in May, and this who this new new point system takes effect, it's going to be an uphill battle or a huge climb for me to unlock more uh, emote slots because I can't now depend on uh, gift subbers to help me unlock additional emote slots. Right. I actually have to like encourage everybody to stop using their primes or, or get like tier three subs or whatever it is, just so I can reach these particular, you know, um, milestones to get uh, emote slots unlocked. 
I'm trying to play at the same time and tell you my my gripe about the whole new Twitch thing. And it's just total BS, in my opinion. And whoever's in charge of Twitch, Dan, I think? Danny, Dan, not Dan, BMG Dan here, but Dan something, Dan McLean or McLean, something. Whatever his name is, because he was actually um, doing his town hall chat yesterday. Um, he's doing a terrible job. I don't know where his ass is. He's also a streamer, but he's obviously not streaming enough. He's not a partner. So being a non-partner, because he even tried to become a partner of his own platform. Um, and he got rejected in his application. But anyways, he should appreciate or understand the problems behind... You know, partners, you know, their struggles, right? And how Twitch could capitalize on partners or on affiliates, right? Because there's more affiliates than there are partners. They could do themselves a big favor and make more money. But I, I don't know where their ass is. And they're obviously not listening to any feedbacks. Um, all right. So here's another feedback that I have. And again, Twitch is just leaving money on the table. They're always crying about how they're not making money. And they're always trying to come up with ideas or creative ways to increase their revenue. But here's the other thing that they're they're doing that's really bad, right? They have um, a thing where you can, you know, uh, for partners, when you know, you can you can clip your your stream, your live broadcast, live broadcasts or vods. They last for 14 days unless you have a Prime linked to your your account. So anyone who has Prime, who is also an affiliate. Um, with their account, they can get get up to 30 days of archives on VODs, right? Past broadcast. Now, to to circumvent the past broadcast archive uh, limit, you can actually manually go in there. Everyone can do this and highlight your clip. And you that's what I do on my weekends. I go through my broadcast during the week and I sit down and I cut up my VODs. So I export them on YouTube. But my VODs are also available on my Twitch channel. So you can actually go in there and you can watch the VODs and you can see chat's actual interaction with those VODs. When I export it to YouTube, you don't get that interaction. You don't see that, right? So here's what, what I think is really dumb on Twitch's part. They don't pay us, right? They don't monetize us for, for us. At least I'm not aware of this because I, based on what I can tell, we do not get money from people watching our VODs, right? And secondly, they don't have a very good push towards marketing and advertising those VODs. There's a limit on how many I can show you guys on, on the collection page of my video. Like, so I make a bunch of collections, I string them all together in one, it's like a playlist, collections are playlists, right? I have a limit number of, of playlists or collections I can show you guys on my video page. So any old videos I have, you have to click on the all video and just manually scroll through every one of those. And that is not a very, very nice interface at all. Right. And they don't have they don't take advantage of like the search features. Right. They don't like do like, hey, we recommend you these old videos. They're always pushing like live views all the time. Right. They could go the route of what YouTube does. Like I make more money, you know, on YouTube. Well, I, I'll, I'll tell you this much, right? I make more money on YouTube, and this is after a year, uh, at, be, less than a year becoming partnered with YouTube, and I'm like blown away on how I'm actually making passive income on YouTube compared to Twitch. Like I stream more of my time on Twitch, and then I make more money on YouTube. It just, it blows my mind, right? So past VODs on YouTube makes more money. Why is that? Why is Twitch not taking advantage of my VOD archives on Twitch? It just blows my mind, right? And they have, and I'm, I'm just talking about like my VODs, like other people create clips. Like these clips could be capitalized and, and strung together like TikTok videos or shorts on YouTube, right? And there's plenty of streamers out there that have like clips and, and the highlights that, that viewers put together, but those don't get uh, properly monetized and so uh, I'm saying is they're just totally leaving money on the table by not um, 
creating a new system of some sort that helps people search for content on Twitch. So, yeah, anyways. Maybe they'll get their heads together and realize, hey, we should just hire a bunch of, you know, new engineer software developers and figure out how to capitalize on all these troves of VODs, right? Yeah, 12 lead ECG. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Give me a second. I got a cough here. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, so it kind of pisses me off. How I'm making content for Twitch and how Twitch is not properly capitalizing. So I only make my money from ads running and subs and bits on Twitch. Played your first run in veteran difficulty and won. Pretty happy with myself. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm glad that... So now you're on your way to Prestige 1, right? Or Viceroy, right? Viceroy. You gotta do Viceroy to get the Prestige unlocks. Um, Alright, so... Let's take a look here. Ooh, protected trade, huh? I'll take it. And what do we have here? All oh, harpies. Do I want more harpies? Harpies bring clay. Yeah, I'll take the harpies. And what do you have to sell me? Oh, I could buy that. Oh, if I bought well, no, I can't buy that, right? I can, I, I can get that is what I meant. All right, that's fine. Can't get that. Oh, I can if I get the tinker, right? Water. I would like water. Uh, seven for two. Not terribly bad. Hang on, before I do that, I need to make a decision. Um. Alright, I'm gonna go with the right. That's fine. I'm hoping we'll get tools. Um. I think I got the trapper's camp, right? Does this map... I think this map has insect nodes, right? No, it doesn't have insect nodes, but they come from... from these thingies. Uh... Well, I know I'm gonna do six trades, regardless, right? Yeah, let's go with this. This shouldn't be too hard. We'll get that soon. Oh my god. So this means I need 12 harpies. I'm okay with that. I'm not ever going to take the workshop. And then we're going to do trades. With uh, it's level 1 with 3. Yeah, that's easy. Alright, so now... I'm okay with this. That gets me 10, which will be one level with these guys. Nine for three. Hang on. Okay. All right, I'm just going to do one of this only. And then... We don't have anything other than the that's the tinker, right? And I could get the left. But I do like my water. How do I want to do this? Left requires stones, right? 
for the fighting tools. Nobody uses fighting tools. I'm gonna go with the right. I might get a carpenter. I do like my water. I mean, I can always buy the tools to move on if I need to, right? This should... They shouldn't offer this. Right? They shouldn't offer that if we already have it. It should, like, re-roll. The guy could say, like, hey, how about this instead or something, right? Or it should have an alert saying you already have this. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard other creators say if you're a new creator, they recommend trying to build a community on YouTube over Twitch. I, I'm starting to agree with that. It's actually a really... It's not a good idea to start building it on YouTube or on Twitch. I mean, Twitch is nice because if I'm going to if I'm going to be making content anyway as opposed to my YouTube channel, that's why I'm streaming because I can actually just cut up the vods and move it out and, and export it. That's the reason why I'm here, but I like the idea of being on Twitch just because um a lot of the uh, a lot of the um, publishers and game developers give away keys based on concurrent viewers on Twitch. Their metrics are kind of off for some reason. They don't look at viewer metrics on YouTube. Uh, they only look at like how many they look at average views for videos, which is a terrible metric because um, if you make like you know twenty videos. And they're all getting like 50, 50 views, but then you've got one big view that's like, you know, a thousand views or, you know, or 500 views or whatever it is. It's going to count against you because they average across the number of videos that you post. Again, I, I, it's, it's weird. Um, but uh, for example, Dare Drop, right? They use their metrics based on the uh, video count or uh, your your Twitch streams, and a lot of the uh, content or the uh, the publishers and and uh, developers they don't care about YouTube videos. They actually just want concurrent viewers on Twitch only. Because um, if you look at the the Dare Drop for for Timberborn right now on on Dare Drop, it's it's not asking for YouTube. It says, hey, we want Twitch views. So if I wanted to get keys or programs or promotions or sponsorships, I have to do some of these Twitch shit. And so it makes it even worse. Okay, here's the other catch-22 problem of working with publishers and developers, right? Uh, that want you to stream their game. So on the, on, on the flip side, they say, oh, we want you to have 50 concurrent viewers. Otherwise, we don't want to work with you at all. If you don't have 50 concurrent viewers, sorry, we're not going to promote you. We're not going to give you any keys, right? And then you take on their program, right? And then your view count drops because their game is shit, right? And no one cares about their game or whatever it is, right? I'm not talking about the... I, I'm, I'm, I'm at least picky and choosy which game I, I play because I like to at least play games that, that I know my viewers are going to at least like it. And I, I stay away from games that's kind of like, well, I don't think my viewership is gonna gonna survive that sponsorship, right? Because there's, you'll see this a lot. A lot of streamers will will play some game that's off the wall, and then their viewership tanks, right? So okay, so the catch twenty two is then, gee, my average count starts tanking because I stream somebody's you know uh, game that they sponsored me for, right? And then that hurts me. So the next guy that comes around that says, hey, would you uh, be interested in playing, you know, or, or I hit them up and I'll go, hey, you know, I'm interested in streaming your game. Can I get like a, a creator's access to your game? And they're like, oh, no, your concurrent viewer is not high enough. It does not meet our standard. I'm like, what the fuck? I just streamed some other game and it killed me, right? Or that same, uh, that same publisher, okay? That same publisher has a, um, a multiple number of games right and this this is specific to paradox right I'll, I'll tell you i will i will call them out now right paradox you know 
have like these little baselines, right? Paradox Interactives, right? They have multiple teams. So their, their marketing team is different, apparently. So they have different marketing teams. So it's not one group that that's, looks at everything. So I will go to one group and they'll they'll give me the key. Star Trek Infinite, great. I got keys from them. And then I, I hit up the same guy and he says, oh, I'm not in charge of that particular game. I wanted to stream Skyline, City Skylines, right? And they're like, oh, they didn't even, crickets, they didn't even respond to me because I don't meet their, their uh, concurrent viewers or whatever it is, right? As an example, just BS. And I'm like, what, wait, wait a minute. Your Star Trek gave me a lot of views. My concurrent viewers skyrocketed. And then later I, I streamed some other, I think they had another game too that I streamed. I can't remember. But anyways, my, my point is that sometimes publishers will give you okay yeah sorry team team 17 also is one of them uh luckily you know i i get some of their 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 games through dare drop but i actually you know work with some of their team 17s directly as well and so i stream gourd my viewership drops and then when it comes time to getting another key from them from some other game like dredge or whatever it is right i don't get the keys or the or the uh, the keys whatever it is for um for their dlc because apparently my viewership dropped this is around the time when they had dredge dlc coming out right it, it's just like okay i i streamed your game you're not gonna hit me up luckily hooded horse the, the hooded horse is a really good publisher by the way if anyone wants to work with a solid publisher uh i would say hooded horse hooded horse is the publisher for against the storm and they have given me so many different keys um even like old world when i streamed old world my viewership dropped but at least hooded horse continues to give me support and let me get other game keys as well so that's just an example of like you know if, if hooded horse was some other company and and you start streaming like old world and your viewership drops and then they and then you've got some other game that they've got coming out and you're like oh hey can i stream that and then suddenly they're like oh well you know your concurrent viewer dropped but i just streamed your dumb game right um and they're they're gonna reject you right but luckily hooded horse is not the case i don't know if they it's the case that they they do that to other streamers but they don't they don't do that to me so which is nice at least i can say hooded horse is a very good publisher yeah, love old world, but it's a bad game for streaming. Yeah, yeah, it's true. True. Oh, oh, oh I, I know what it was. Victoria. That's the game that caused my viewership to tank. I believe Victoria is... Which publisher is Victoria? I believe that's Paradox, right? Victoria 3. I can't remember who who Victoria was. Yeah, the Paradox, exactly. I was like, I knew, I knew why I couldn't get like City Skylines, All right? So I streamed Paradox, uh, a Paradox game, Victoria 3. My viewership tanked. And then I turn around and ask for like the City Skyline key and crickets. Apparently my concurrent viewers is not good enough for City Skylines. Thankfully, City Skyline sucks, by the way. It's like, I knew I was streamed another Paradox game. That's why I'm calling out Paradox. Worst publishers ever. They don't have their shit together. Um. Yeah, anyways. And now, by the way, now I actually do meet the requirements for City Skylines. Because I've now passed the, the 50, 50 concurrent viewer threshold. So I could apply for City Skylines if I wanted to. But I'm not going to because that game is probably going to tank my viewership. So anyways, it's just... People or, or these companies really need to get their shit together if they want to make more money. And they need to change their methods of advertisement. Um. Alright, so we're going to run out of food here soon. 
And I'm going to need more than one harpy. I need to focus on my game here. This is year two, right? Um. All right, so the veggies, there's still one more veggies left. And then we can do insects. That's the other one, right? And I need to get my speed boost here because we're at 14 people count. But yeah, I, I think that content creators saying it's the best way to build up your community is start with, with YouTube. It's a slow start. It's rough. But I think long term... It's going to be better. Um, I've already built a lot of my audience on Twitch. And I'm starting to see the value in YouTube. And I'm, I'm realizing that, yeah, I probably should have started on YouTube a lot longer or sooner. Because I think the, the search feature of YouTube or, or just watching, like, past videos... Like, I... For example, like I streamed or, or sorry, I custom made a video for for the Wandering Village. This is not a a VOD clip either. I made a video of the Wandering Village, how to get the three different um, statues, right? And I custom made this clip. I posted it on on YouTube. It got tons of views then. And then suddenly, like a couple of months ago, like two months ago, I started making 10 bucks again off of it because there was a, a maybe like a new update to the wandering village and I'm not even streaming wandering village here right because I've been streaming all all of the um, the against the storm stuff for this past year and then a year later just out of the blue I suddenly got a surge of like a thousand or two thousand viewers watching my my wandering village video that I made like a year ago it was just blowing my mind how I made like ten dollars off of that in a month for a video that's just kind of like something I, I made and forgot about so just an example right just an example that it's better to to make um, YouTube content all right um All right, I'm gonna take these guys off. Take these guys off. I'm gonna remove this. Don't need this anymore. I need to do trade routes, right? No, that's a terrible deal. That's a terrible deal. That's not a bad deal. Yeah, there are certain games that's really hard to stream. I, I will agree with that. I have noticed that too in my my time streaming. Like, Gordian Quest, right? It's a great game. It's just people, apparently it's their attention span is not enough. It's a hard game to follow too. Certain games is kind of like, oh, hey, you know, like Mini, Mini Motorways was an amazing game to actually stream. Like, it... It got me, a, like, a large bump in viewership. That was a very good game to stream, but I refuse to support Mini Motorways because I gave them so much of my time already, and the developers, to this day, refuse to make simple changes to their game to make it streamable. I mean, it's great. People like watching it, but it could be even more streamable, right? To have certain features in Mini Motorways. Like, certain overlays so that viewers don't have to figure out what the hell's going on. So that's another missed opportunity by the Mini Motorway game developers. That's why I love Against the Storm. Because I will we'll ask, I'll ask for like this little request. Hey, can you put that P20 here? Because this helps streamers, right? A simple thing like this. Doesn't help anybody else other than content creators, and they added that in there. 
And I'm just like, wow. The Against the Storm developers are absolutely amazing. And that's why I will continue streaming against, against the Storm. Because they'll do stuff to at least help streamers make it more watchable. Right? And that's the gateway of getting more people, right? Because people come, they watch streams or they watch content so they can decide whether they want to buy a game or not, right? Yeah, love Storm developers. Yeah, I love Against the Storm developers. They are just amazing. Okay, that's fine. Also, hello. Yes, hello, Monty. And you got your beaver, right? Yeah, you should thank the uh, Against the Storm folks and Hooded Horse because it, they made it possible for me to get you guys a free beaver. Dan, who showed up this morning, was one of the other beaver winners. Hang on, I got this dumb phone call. Ugh, another dumb spammer. I live in an area, well, I have a area code for my phone that has nothing to do with the area code of where I used to live a long time ago. It was like way, way long time ago, right? And... Whenever I see somebody calling me from that area code where I have no business being in that area, you can easily tell that these robocallers or whatever, they, they, they try to trick you to make you think that it's from your local area, but I don't even live in that area for like over 20 years. It's ridiculous. That's how you can you can kind of identify. It's like, yeah, that's nobody I know. Yeah. Same. Moved, kept old number, and still get spam from original area code, right? Yeah, who hangs? Exactly. You know what I'm talking about. I'm like, yeah, come on. What are you... This is like... What the hell? Uh-huh. Okay, what am I gonna do here? I probably don't need all this. I mean, I have enough food in this area. I, I need to get my rainwater, right? Huh, my rainwater. It's four, right? It's four. But yeah, how do you like your beaver, Monty? I uh, I actually got my beaver and I haven't opened the box yet. I was thinking of doing like an unboxing video or something. Or taking a snapshot of my beaver. I mean, I still have my Steam Deck sitting on the floor. In a box too, unopened. Uh, you should open your Steam Deck. Oh, I should probably open my Steam Deck. I feel bad. They sent me a Steam Deck. I haven't even looked at my Steam Deck yet. One for four is terrible. I don't want to sell my food. I don't want to sell my bricks. These are terrible deals.
Alright, we're gonna have to cut off some humans. From eating. Kinda makeshift posts. And I need parts, right? Alright, that's fine. I think the worst thing in the world is... These spammers who get, like, a voter registration from, like, 20 years ago. Right? Or 20 or 30 years ago. Um... And I don't even live in this other area, like... In a, it's a, a totally different state, by the way. And I have not voted in that state for like 30 years. And they text me about their whatever political shit in their region. I'm like, I'm not even in your state. Why are you telling me about these dumb candidates in your state? And I would I would go block. Or, or like report or say stop right I'll tell them stop and then next thing I know I get like another one from a different number I'm like dude I said stop and then you just like spawn another number somewhere else reminding me to vote in that particular state I'm like okay I have nothing to do with this it's ridiculous the government needs to stop this this is worse right these po political candidates and the fact that you're spamming on this, and if I was living in your state, for goodness sake, I would never vote for you. Because the fact that you're you're stooping so low, you should be making laws against this. Why would I want to vote for you, right? If you're the one that is spamming me. That's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Right? I don't know if you're in the U.S. or not, or any of you guys understand. Right? But I, I get these little political text spams reminding me to vote, or hey, I'm so-and-so candidate and I need your vote. Um, and I'm not registered in their state, unless somebody is using my name in that state somehow. That's voter fraud. Right? Yeah, ultimately, if you don't vote, that's an automatic vote for the other side. Sure, but I don't live in that state. What difference does my vote make in another state? That's, that's, I don't, I guess you don't live in the U.S. So you don't understand what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, anyways, that was just my biggest annoyance. Whether I vote for that guy or the other guy, it does not matter. I don't live in that state. Do I need any of this? No, right? Three on the left, three on the right. I get food on the right. I get more harpies on the right. I guess I'll take the more harpies on the right. This is your three, right? I should be able to take this easy. Oh, hey, I'll take it. Roots. Nope, can't do the money. All right, we could we could make beavers happy. I mean, this is easy to do, right? It's a bunch of wood. I want more harpies. Jenna Ortega. Yes. Alright, I'll bite just because I know that we're getting a lot of roots soon. Wait, hang on. The top, I need three, right? Easy peasy. 
And then that one I need seven, which is that. What is that? That's this group. And then this one I need... No, this is terrible. Alright, that's terrible. I'll trade the bottom. That's we'll get my trade counter going, right? So I got two coming in. I need one more. Level one standing with three. So I need what? I need that one. Seven. Lemonade. Lemonade. I should get this. That will double at least double my mushroom count. Are you going to be here in time? No. Shit. Okay, alright. Can I... Can I get this fast enough? One, two, three, four. Shit, I cannot. Maybe. I don't think so. I don't think I can. Um, I don't think I can. Alright, so if I buy this, and I make this fast enough, I might ha have the money. To buy the... The mushrooms, right? I want the mushrooms. Can I get parts fast enough? We're gonna get lots of parts, right? What else are you selling me? Or trying to sell me? Shit. That's six. That gets me two of these, right? Because this guy is giving me two. Okay. And then this one has eight. That gets me that one, right? I need this one. I need to buy at least eight off of her. Uh... Maybe I can just do it with this. Alright, we'll go with that. Alright. Hurry, please. Trying to get money so I can buy the mushroom thingy since we can't do soil on this run. I want to stretch out my food. This one, right? Um, thank God for refunds. All right, so that makes my mushrooms worth more. All right, hang on. What do you have for me? Ooh. Well... Take the left, because that could help me with an event solve item. So yeah, all right, that's fine. That may be something I'll need. Okay, that's fine. 30. And I need trade routes, right? I need one more trade route. 
Alright. And then humans. Children. See. Okay. And then I need... I need tools, right? Standing. Standing. I need jerky fulfillment. That's this chick down here. Alright, so we're gonna make harpy homes, right? Harpy homes. I can't believe I got this. The game trolled me so hard on this. It's ridiculous. So I guess clothing and biscuits, right? Yeah, it looks like it's clothing and biscuits. I can't really move a whole lot with three people. Well, this at least stretches my food out, right? Oh, I should have bought more pipes. I just realized that. I should have bought more pipes. I forgot to buy the pipes. Alright, so beavers. I need beavers to be 30, right? How many? How many? For how long? For two minutes. I don't think I can do it this year. Might not be able to do it this year. We can try. Let's try to make some beavers happy. Find out. Okay. Yeah, I really hope they also f developers fix these diagonal spots. The diagonals really annoy me. All right, so here's another beaver spot. And then humans? What's wrong with you? Oh my god, their hunger is really bad. How is their hunger so bad? Oh shit, their hunger is off the charts. Oh Jesus, beavers, eat something, man. Hmm. I have to let this go. If I want to get the the 30, right? 
Shit. I'm not getting that fast enough. Beavers. They're gonna be leavers. I need, what, five of these? And I need to make some trades, right? Alright, so number two needs seven. Or number three needs ten. Number two needs seven. Which I don't have. Damn it. I guess I'll bite on that just to finish off my trade routes. And that window for the beavers are passing. Shit. Really bad planning here. Very bad planning. Okay. One more. Can I maintain them? One minute and 36 seconds. That is going to be the hard part. Do you have enough? 20, let's go with 20. Oops, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. That's fine. Hang on, what's this? 94, 72? Okay. So I need one minute. I don't think this is gonna work in one minute. That's like minus eight, right? I'm thinking here. How do I keep beavers up? Um. Alright, I'm going to crank this up. Just so that this climb is higher. I need... 40 seconds on the beavers. Thirty seconds on the beaver. If I let go, there's gonna be a drop, right? Greetings. Just in time. Perfect. Now we have beavers done, right? Alright, I'm going to take the beaver because that plus one. Do I benefit from that off of this? No, that's not a roots thing, right? Oh, that doesn't give me roots either. Alright, so it's not as bad. I don't have to take it now. Okay. This is four, right? It's burning shit. That gets me food, veggies. And then I need two. Or eight. Eight on the... Seven on the three. Seven on the two. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Terrible. Do 
I want to give up bricks? I don't know if I want to give up bricks. There's not... I don't have any brick renewals. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's hide some blue water then. All right, you're back in business. And we're moving you over there. All right, so humans was the other one, right? All right, humans have eight. All right, what do we have? I don't know if I want to give up the six. I don't think so. It's not a good idea. Alright, four. We're gonna get four more people. Six people if I take this, right? Eight if I take this. And this requires having 12 harpies at the same time. What do we have? Ooh. Oh, I gotta have the I gotta take the right if I wanna get the harpies. All right, so we're gonna do this. So everyone's happy. And there's no soil on our run. Um, do I want to open something? There's no soil on our run. Okay. What I want to do is hide some of my fuel. Just in case we get woodcutter's prayers. Alright, so all of our coal is gone, right? We don't have any coal on the table. And then what I want to do... What we have here? Okay, you're fine. Uh, we need more human homes, right? Human homes. Wait for the trader. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll definitely wait for the trader for sure. Yeah, that way we can sell our off our wood if we need to. All right, so it's not woodcutter's prayers. Event speed, not terribly bad. I'll take it. We get. We need the right, because I need harpies for this. Oh God. 
I gotta open... Forbidden, huh? In eight minutes. Can I get a forbidden in eight minutes? Maybe if I cut through this one, right? I cut through this. Getting through this is not hard. I have eight minutes to get to this. Or this one. I think this might be faster, right? One, two, three. Cut through this and then cut through this. Yeah, all right. I should be able to do this. So we're looking at time order. And I'm all about trying to get time orders, right? Alright, so we're gonna go... Where's my other beaver? Do it now. And then I need, what, seven for that one? Still can't get it. Hmm. And that's not bad, I'll take it. Nope. Is there anything I need off this dude? No, right? Maybe four of this. But I'm gonna wait until I pop it first. Figure out if I need to buy oil or some shit. Oh my god, blood flower. No! No! You're killing me. On a no soil map. You are killing me. Anakin Skywalker. You're killing me, Anakin. You're killing me. Could be worth buying oil. Yeah, roots though. I mean, I have infinite root line. What I need to do is sell about 28 more. I need to get this. I mean, 19 for 9 is a pretty damn good deal for roots. I probably should have sold more. Bloodflower does not cost me anything. I do want to hide all my... My mushrooms. I don't mind leaving the roots out. Hang on, actually. Um, I think I shouldn't have let that guy go, but we'll see. I still have 22 there. Hmm. All right. I need to get mushrooms, right? Am I ready? Am I ready for the blood flower? I guess I'll do the blood flower now. Ooh, 
We need to get an herbal house for the other one, right? What 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 are you missing? Shit. Um let's take this off. Come on. What am I hiding now? Nothing, right? I don't want to hide anything. Um, that one I need done, right? Is there anything I can do with roots right now? No, oh, right. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's go with this. No, I should leave the roots there because if it removes roots, that mitigates some of this. That's fine. I'll leave. I'll leave the way it is. If it removes some of the roots, that saves me some of this. Lightning catcher. Oh shit. We're F. What's the time frame? Four minutes? That should be doable for four minutes. Alright, luckily we have a coal. Do it now. I don't want to turn that in now, right? Because we're going to drain some of that. Oh, let me take off the beaver's consumption here. Um, all right, so we've got grill, right? No one eats skewers. What else? What is this? Nope. Nope. Oh, well, maybe. Nope. Okay. Or that just needs to hurry up. I need to activate this now, right? Oh, shit. RPs. Harpies. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What am I going to do about these harpies? Oh, shit. Alright, maybe I might have to leave the beavers to also eat coats. Eating coats, huh? What are my alternatives? Hmm. Very bad. That's four minutes, so I need to do that now before the storm. I mean, I could wait until after the storm. Probably not a good idea, though.
All right, we got to let beavers have coats too. Jesus. Still not enough. Come on. All right, there you go. That needs to be... Oh, shit. I should have done that sooner. Oh, shit. What's happening? Time order's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what's the other one? I need to get th th seven, right? Seven for them with that one. God damn it. These are terrible. If I give up all that, I will lose my stones. But this one has stones. Ah, uh, four, four twenty wood. <laughs> four twenty wood. Three minutes. Oh my God, we're that's a minute of that during the storm, guys. That's a hefty price to pay during the storm, guys. Shit's gonna hit the fan during the storm. That's not pretty at eight. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think so, guys. I think I'm gonna have to cancel this and do it exactly at the beginning of Drizzle. Three minutes and 49, and there's only like what? Two minutes and 34. That's like more than a minute during the storm. I don't think I can withstand that. People are gonna die. I have to cancel this. And just let that pass. There's nothing I can do. Are there containers? God damn it. And I have no food. Looking bad. Food all. Yeah, definitely not going very well here. I'll take it. What do you got for me? Containers? Pottery. Hmm. Okay, we'll deal with the pottery. All right. Now I need to get uh, a second hearth over here, right? And how this is not a thing, I have no idea why. Is 
Look at that. Plus seven, right? Wow. We're gonna end up losing something because of that. I mean, that's a lot of containers. It's a lot of containers. Which one is this? Is eight of this and eight of that? All right, do we have seven? We don't have seven, right? I can't give up this. What is it? Nope, can't do any of that either. Can't do any of that either. So my other alternative is maybe this one, right? Nine of this one? No, that's not happening either. Shit. Not very many choices. I don't need that. There's only like one of those. Tools. Humans are not happy. I'll give it to you. I don't really care. Our food's bad though for humans. Oh no. Humans. Humans. I need eight of those. Shit. I just wasted a bunch of potential mushroom food here. Damn it. I wasted some food. Oh, all right. That's not as bad. I don't feel too bad. Oh, come on, harpies. Oh, harpies bullshit. Fuck! I need 12 harpies. That did not help me. Fuck! Now I need, what, seven harpies? Seven more harpies. I should have ended that sooner. Fine, I'll take you now. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need three more harpies. Alright, so bricks, right? Shit, I need bricks. Tools, jerky needs fulfillment. I can't do the standing. Can't do the standing. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I guess I could. I only need, what, seven? Alright, so the standing is fine. There's two harpies over there, right? I need, what, 19 of those? That's a terrible deal. 
Three packs for every time somebody shows up. Hmm. The other one's plus resolve. I'll take the resolve. No Jenna's. Two two minutes. Hi. I'll buy that too. Oh, that's not bad. Eh. Too late. It's okay. What do we got here? Alright, I'll take the apothecary. I need bricks. Okay, you do sell bricks. Oh, come on. Yes. Yep, we're gonna get some biscuits soon here. Them biscuits. Need eight of this. I'm not getting a, any other. Hang on, let me see what this is. Oh god. This is 40 people, right? It's more likely than getting 22 beavers. Yeah, we're more likely to get that than 22 beavers. Do it again. Where's my rain thingy again? I gotta redo the rain thingy. Alright, so this guy over here... You are selling containers. I need I need that ASAP, right? Oh god, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna go to the right this time. I'm okay with a, this one. I need to buy the thingy off of her. Yes. Twenty three seconds, I get two. Twenty three seconds, and I get two. Two minutes, and I get the other one, right? That's twenty coins. Yeah, oh, damn it. I need to buy this, but I don't have the money. I'm giving up one, right? Hang on. No, I should not give up with that one because I need a second district, right? Oh, no, 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 no. I got enough. I got enough. 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right. What about... What about... Uh, tools? I need five. I need to keep five tools, right? It's off of this one. That's off of this one. All right, I should be able to get rid of all my tools, theoretically. Jesus Christ. This is an arm and a leg, guys. Arm and a leg.
arm and a leg. Might as well, there's nothing that I can't move my rat regardless. We should be getting a ton of that later, right? Pretty confident in that. That's a harpy house. Uh, that gets more people, right? I'll take it. Still does not get enough. Damn it. Monastery. Absolutely. All right, that's going to run out soon. Oh, I got to get the... All right, it's still not enough people. What in the fuck? It's ridiculous. We're going to lose some. Destroy the shelter. Trapper's shelter in human house. Okay. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. Can I... I get five back, right? Is it, I think it's better to repair it, right? It is better to repair it. Because it costs 15. Yeah, it's still better to repair it. Because then I salvage it, I get 10 back. Yeah, it's still better. All right, I already knew that was going to happen. Um, so we need 30, 40 people total. They need to stop eating this. And I need to get parts for this. All right, so beavers. We're going to need more beaver homes. Beaver levers. Planks almost one to one? Yeah, it's almost one to one. Craziness. Craziness. I need to sell eight, nineteen, right? Nineteen. One for four is actually not a bad deal. Some of these are pretty good.
All right, so there's eight on that side. So I need... I need more parts, right? So I can get the... The other shit on the other side. The stones. I need jerky fulfillment, which is... Three more harpies. Explorer's Lodge versus Better Roots. Better Roots is not important. That gets me 30 points. Well, it will give... Sorry, two points. It will give me two points. Oh shit, I should have done the other one. I should have done this one, the beanery. Fuck. I screwed that one up again. And then I need more beaver homes. Alright, so it's not going anywhere. So that gets me this guy right here, right? Alright, what is this guy gonna do? Okay, so left could potentially get me something. Left is kind of something there too. Okay, alright, alright, alright. So four... Let me get off the four. I need uh, more, right? I need eleven? I'll take it. Oh shit, F me. No. Damn it. Damn it. How long is this gonna take? One minute? Both of these, two minutes, right? It'll be two minutes. Two minutes till I get that. Yikes! Wait a minute. That's building material? I didn't realize that's considered a building material. How are pipes building materials? I guess I guess it is considered building materials. I don't know. What am I going to do about this new problem? I got to get off of this by four. Well, I mean, if a beaver dies, that's fine, right? But I still need 40 people. I gotta keep the harpies. Harpies has to stay. Wow, all the beavers are happy with what I just did. I mean, there's two harpies here, right? Worst case scenario. Alright. 
Which one is that? That's a harpy house. I'm okay with the beaver leaving. Because that will solve our problem. Bye bye, beaver. Perfect. Perfect! We're perfect! Perfect. All it took was one beaver to leave. Oh, God. All right, so let's see here. Four, five, six, right? The left is four, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Yeah, so that will actually get us the, the district that we need. It's all of those. What's going on? Food? It's food. Oh my god, it's food. Shit. Food. Yeah, it is food. It's always food. Do we care? We kind of do care. We do kind of care. All right, so we should be able to make biscuits now, right? All right, and then now what is this? Eight for the monastery. Eight for the monastery. Hutan. Unani. Unani. All right, so we need six on this side, right? Six humans. Do that for now. Okay. I need a total of twenty though on both sides. Da -da -da. So it's 14 for now, but we're going to need that to, to be a total of 20. Ooh, three for seven. Sure, I'll bite. All right, crude workstation. We're back to normal, right? All right, so that one I need 18 of. Hello. Hello. Burnt to Chris, I'll take it. Take the right. Reba? Better cooking skills. I'll take it. I'll buy five of these because I need it. Ooh, you and me. Hee hee hee. Oh, hang on. I might be able to do it right this. Okay. I may not need to take the left, but we'll see. At least harpies are moving, right? 20 people live on that side. Mm-hmm. 
You can leave. I'll allow it. And then humans. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. It's because you're using yellow water. Come on, lady. Oh, bullshit. Too late. Too late. Green water. Yeah, this is such a wasted mystery. I'm so pissed. How we even got that. I'm so pissed. I'm still pissed about that wasted mystery. I'll take this now so I can get all that. Alright, you're out. You're in and you're out. Clothier? Yes, Clothier. We already we were offered that forger earlier. Terrible. Take this off. Oh, you know what? We could probably make some insects. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. Voodoo. I only need one more. All right, so I need to make one of these. One of these. One of these. Two of these. Two of these. Woo woo! And then to lower this, I need 11, right? I mean, that gets me more bars. Oh god, I don't have any of that, huh? Okay. There you go. All our... Okay, so I do have whatever I need, right? Alright, we should be fine, right? This is the plus one from the beavers. And I need to get district levels up. I need to get two more harpies to show up. Which will be off of this.
Wanda. And then this one is almost done, right? Olay, hang on, hang on. Olay, this is your six. All right, just in case, I'm gonna be apt. <laughs> just in case, I'm gonna be apt. Hang on, how many do I need? Five and six? You're gonna have to go. Because I'm gonna be effed. Twenty one. All right, looks like we got a well. Nineteen on that one. And I just need one more. Which one? One more of this guy, right? So district on this side, I need what? Harpies to show up. All right, so I got to get off the three. Perfect. And then we're going to get that Explorer's Lodge back in play. What am I going to do with this grill? I guess I could do more, more ale, right? And you are eggs only. Alright, we're gonna have to cut off some of this. It's too much food here. Too much food. You guys are eating too much. You're gonna get fat, Harpy. Hey, Disco Geek, welcome back. And Kara, welcome back. Here to tell you the Wandering Village got an update. Played it last night and the UI is a lot easier for me. Nice. Yeah, Wandering Village just recently hit overwhelmingly positive reviews. It's good to see that. I need more jerkies. Do we get insects off this? No, right? Shit. It's got at least one harpy, right? Ooh. The left gets me more jerkies. I need jerkies, right? Yeah, I gotta go with the left.
Okay. Do I have enough? I do. Alright, so... I just gotta win on Resolve at this point, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. How many do I need now? Uh, nine, right? We should be getting nine off of that. Fifteen, yeah. That's a lot of coal, huh? A lot of coal. Okay. We're gonna go with the left. We're gonna go with Beyonce. Full Beyonce mode. Ooh, pies and jerky. Oh, pies and jerky. <laughs> Make me some pies and jerkies. Actually, it's better to do meat pies, right? Because I get free jerkies. Yeah, I get free jerkies. Hail! Hail! Look at that! A 30 off of that, too. Hello! Hail! Hi! Hail to the chief! Hiya! I got nothing for ya. Hiya! One, two. Oh, God. Oh, I need to start chopping. Make use of my woodcutters. See you later. I gotta get that jerky going. The jerky must flow. I should let beavers have some fun. Beavers just want to have fun. Alright, we are screwed. We have no way to make new porridge. We have no way to make new porridge. Okay, that's not bad for the other one, right? Oh yeah, weavers. Weaver. Leave it to the weavers. All right, so we now have the bottom, right? But I can't get mushrooms anyways. All right, I will let beavers eat some of this shit too. 
All right, you know what? Let's um, let's have humans join this. So humans should theoretically be happy. Importance. Hang on. Uh, I need nine, right? That's coming in soon. I don't think I need more parts, right? I don't know about that. I don't know about selling it. Might be a bad idea. That's not a bad deal. Okay. Wow, look at all those. Look at all those jerkies. Come on, humans. What do I have to do to make you happy? We have religious shit here. Why are you not doing your religious shits? Oh, there we go. Shit. My bad. My bad. Coats? Do we have coats yet? We don't have coats yet. We're working on the coats right now. Yeah, we're working on the coats right now. Coats with the fur. Where are my beaver levers? Oh boy, we actually have extra housing here, apparently. Unaffected? Wow, we need lots of human homes, don't we? Yeah, we need lots of human homes. Well, I could probably set up a second one of these. Shit. And then you're done done, right? Oh wait, I already have that. She says, be damned. Be damned. Hmm. Actually, no, I'd probably just turn it around. Might be better. At least it's pointing towards the warehouse. This doesn't do anything for us, right? And I can get three off of this, right? Tommy Don. I got two points. I got nothing for this. I got nothing for this. Mm 
Okay. Take it. I'll take it. Sweet deal. I gotta get off of the... I mean, this makes pickle goods, right? Hang on. Because this is building material that's going to get screwed. Um, we don't want to waste any of this. Waste not, want not. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, no more pies! No more pies, guys. The pies are running out. Well, we should have more pies from the new insects. And maybe pies when we chop more wood, right? Okay, that should give us... Oh, except for that one. Who? No one uses that, right? Shit, no one uses that. Oh god, I got nothing for that either. All right, I want to mitigate some people over there. One, two, three. It says I got nine unaffected. Okay. All right, so... That gets me more pies. That does not matter. Alright, you. Which one makes bars? Okay, yeah, you. And then you. Oh, shit. I can't get the top. Actually, there's no reason to have that guy there. Oh, this thing is absolutely useless now, huh? I just realized how useless this is. I should have gotten the food. That building is useless. Oh, because of the district problem. Well, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna get more people here in a second anyways. From the top right. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this now. I don't think that'll make a difference. Yeah, so that way we can generate some pies. 17. Four has to go. Twenty two. You're still two on the side. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't do anything on that one, right? So this is 20. This is 20. Uh, 
Beavers are all happy. Hang on, that's no. Hang on, this is 21, right? Two more for that guy. It's 20, right? That's 20. I don't get a plus two yet until this is done. All right, I'm gonna go with the one with the insects. Okay, and then you are bars. And then you are making me pickle goods. And then the horse is here, right? Ooh, horse. Ooh, woodcutters. I'll take the one with the woodcutter. One for five? Oh no, the, oh no. Forgot to make some of this. Do I attack the horse? I mean, technically, I don't need the horse. Or, I mean, I don't need anything else, right? I mean... That's 55! That's a lot of people, right? That's a lot of people. I don't know. I'm thinking here. Do I attack the horse? Kind of risky to attack the horse. Hey, fat boy, Gary. The horse, right? Kind of risky attacking the horse. But I do have one turn in, right? One turn in. Can I win this year, guys? Can I win this year? Let's say if I attack the horse. Everybody's happy. Hmm. I attack the horse. Everybody's happy. Can I think of a reason not to attack the horse right now? Hmm. Alright, let's attack the horse. Can't be that bad, right? Oh, three people. Oh, hey, look, I got a box. Oh, cool, I can get some tools. Cool, I can make extra of that. Cool, I can get some religion. More coats for everybody. Coats with the fur. And the maximum number of sacrifice increases. Okay, all right. I should be... This should help me. Builder, Harpy, Apothecary, Beaver, Firekeeper, yeah. And somehow we still have that. Wait, okay. Which one is this? Is this Harpy? Alright, so let's see here. How many do I need off of the side? Humans? Sure, let's make a human house here then. Yep, everyone should be happy, theoretically. I mean, this building is completely useless. I should have gotten the food off of that originally. Hey, Mad Raving Man. Welcome back. Hello. Hello.
Akito. Akito. We have way too many people. Like this is this is ridiculous. Way too many people. We should be winning right now, right? Oh, we have not gotten any of this yet. Everybody should be happy, right? Drew with touch, or I'll take it. It's not like it's gonna matter. We got this, right? We don't even need the tools. You don't even need the tools. Bada boom, bada bing! All it took was attacking the traitor, and then everybody's just loving it. Like McDonald's. Yay. That was McDonald's, right? This is the Barren Lands, right? Yeah, Barren Lands. Yeah, so Timberborn is on the list. Well, I should be able to theoretically get Starship Troopers Command another key. Because I recently got Stargate. A key for Stargate Timekeepers. And one of the dares is I get another Star Starship Troopers key. And then another one of the dares, I can get another or second Stargate key. Forsaken Gods? Oh. What's this one say? Followers of the Forsaken Gods, as you make your way through the wilds, you hear a faint humming, an eerie song in a strange language. As you get closer, you see a circle of cloaked figures gathered around... A strange obelisk. One of them points at you, and the other starts slowly walking towards you. Alright, so. Win before your eight ends with ten dead villagers and gain mushrooms and reserve points. Send volunteers, and I gain... I lose two villagers. I gain four seal fragments and four embarkation points. I originally, I was going to go over here... Jump back over here. And then jump over here. And then jump over here. Or over here, right? Over here. And then that. Oh, I, I was going to range extension. Wait. Oh, God. I can't range extension anymore. Hmm. That is a problem, guys. Right. Well, let's see. If I do that, I can't go backwards, right? Win before your eight ends with ten dead villagers. I get mushrooms and resolve point or reserve points. Up gets me reserve points, but I end up losing villagers. Hmm. I get four seal fragments. Alright, so let's say I go here. And I go back here. And then go this way. And I can't reach this. This, I can't do anything with this. <sighs> That kind of screws my plan up a lot. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Alright, so I take the challenge. I get mushrooms and reserve points. Yep, I get mushrooms and reserve points. I mean, I could use the reserve points. So after, that, after that's done... I'll probably go back this way. Mm. 
right? Or this way. It's going to overlap three times, though. That's terrible. That will overlap two times. I get to this. Uh, and then an extension to this? I don't know. This really ruins it, doesn't it? I can't come back to this. So the original plan was here. Here. And then here. And then here. And then here goes the here. Here goes the here. And then range extension to this. Now I can't use this as a range extension. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Well, if anything, I need to take this now, or not. It's like I can't range extension. It's a waste. Okay. All right, yeah, let's do this. That's fine. We'll do this. Win before year eight ends with 10 dead villagers. I have to kill off 10 people. Then I will get three mushrooms for the rest of my run and four reserve points, which is not bad. I like the idea of that. What is this? January 25th dash C27 dash P20 dash number five, right? Not number five. Yeah, all right, so we'll go with us. All right, quick bathroom break, and then I will figure this out.